how did these adolescent entrepreneurs make a million dollars before their senior prom? Today, teenage millionaires reveal the secrets to their success. Welcome back. So, most of us spend our teen years hanging out with friends and going to the Galleria and stressing out about our prom date or not having a prom date. Mm -hmm. Our next guest shows a more <laughs> lucrative way to pass the time. Building million dollar companies. Yeah, in fact, one of these whiz kids earned his first 50 grand before he was 12. My kids are slackers. <laughs> Cameron Johnson's business career kicked into high gear at age eight. Hoping to be just like Macaulay Culkin in Home Alone 2, Cameron wanted to go to New York and stay at the Plaza Hotel. After his parents agreed to go, wrote to owner Donald Trump with a special request. I said, dear Mr. Trump, I'm going to be staying at your hotel, and the only thing I want to do while I'm in the city is see the suite where Macaulay Culkin stayed and where the movie takes place. Cameron heard nothing back, but when they arrived at the hotel, an amazing surprise. Trump had arranged for his family to stay in that Home Alone suite. I realized right then that I'm not going to be playing professional sports, I'm not going to be a singer, I'm going to be a businessman, and I want to be just like Mr. Trump. At nine, he launched an invitation printing business, making clients out of his parents' friends. The company was really small, and I was maybe doing 10 or 15 orders a month, a few hundred dollars a month, but uh, that was a lot of money to a nine-year-old. Next, he moved into the Beanie Baby business, buying and selling them on eBay. At our peak, I was shipping about 40 orders a day because the hype was through the roof. It was such a frenzy. In less than 12 months, a now 12-year-old Cameron made $50,000. But he didn't stop there. He launched two Internet businesses selling ad space. And the second one boomed. And that company grew to have 200,000 customers, and we were displaying 15 million ads per day, which back then was $15,000 in daily revenue when I was 15 years old. That same year, he became a board member at a Japanese company company, wrote a best-selling book, and before he graduated high school, had already made his first million dollars. Uh, here today oh, is the man. author of You Call the Shots, Millionaire Cameron Johnson. Also with us, we have the CEO of WhateverLife.com, 17-year-old millionaire Ashley Claus. We'll get to her story in a second, but Cameron, do you stay in touch with, uh, with Trump, Mr. Trump? Well, I don't stay in touch. I don't have a personal relationship with him. I just reached out to him when I was eight. And then uh, it gets better. Our kids do. I also reached out to him, though, a year and a half ago when I first wrote my book. Oh, yeah. I sent him a manuscript, and, and uh, he gave me a great testimonial for the back. He said, 13 years ago, Cameron wrote to me because he wanted to, you know, stay in the suite at my hotel. Now he's writing to me because he's written a terrific book. And that was really nice of him. Well, you've watched the show, so I'm yeah. sure he'll be very proud of you. Good. Me. I'm sure very proud. Well, hello. So you, you took your sister's Beanie Babies, and you ended up with 5,000 Beanie Babies before you threw in the basement of your parents' home. Did you, was your sister mad at you? Well, you know, at the time, I, I paid her $100 for him. And, well, $100, $100 to a six-year-old is like a million. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, and since now she's 17, so I've paid her back the 900 plus interest. So, so by the oh, age of 21 years old, you had how many businesses? I had 12 businesses before I turned 21. <laughs> Oh, my Lord. Oh, boy. Um, this makes you feel like a loser, doesn't it, Mike? Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, we're going to find out the keys to your success you can pass along to other kids and all of us in just a second. But, Ashley, yeah. wow. When did you start your million-dollar million project? Um, I started it. I was 14. And <laughs> I, it's called whateverlife.com. And I actually created it just for fun. And it was... What is it exactly? You're designing web pages? Um, yeah, essentially. I mean, it's it's... It's actually MySpace layouts and okay. graphics, and you can actually go on the site, and, and oh. it's all free, and you can learn how to build your own website. How, you many, people, no. how many people a month uh, get in touch with you to build a website? Well, there's, uh, on the site a day is about 100,000 to 250,000 different, different... Whoa! Different oh, gosh! So. Well, you start with your friends. Will you paint my MySpace page? Basically, for me, essentially, yeah. I mean, it was just uh, my friends. They wanted me because I was, I was always doing websites yeah. when I was nine. So, um they asked me, I learned the code, and I started posting them on the site, and it, it, how, it grew. How long do you think it's going to be before somebody comes to you and wants to buy you out? Um, people have offered already. Oh, man, I can't. <laughs> There's been a lot be... of offers, but it's, just, it's so much fun to do it. I mean, this is, it's, it's a great thing to do when you but, find something you love. Hold on a second. How much you make in a month now? <laughs> At 17. Um, uh, on average, 50 to 70,000. Yes. Wow. How 
okay, so you bought a house though, right? You bought the house. I bought a house. And you live in it with with, with my mom right now. Can you tell us how much the house was? Um, it region? was it was about two hundred fifty thousand dollars. Okay, so Cameron, that's, that's, do you have a house? I do. I bought up my first house when I was nineteen, <laughs> and I actually just <laughs> it just sold it a couple of weeks ago, Four. thankfully with this uh, market right under four hundred thousand. Four hundred thousand. Yeah. yeah, nicely done. Yeah. <laughs> when we come back, I wish my kids would get out of bed. <laughs> uh, camera reveals how you can uh, become a millionaire as well. A good excuse to play a little bit of hip hop. Hell yeah. All right, we're back with millionaire Cameron Johnson. He made money. He's got 12 companies by the time he was 21 years old. Also, CEO of whateverlife.com, 17 year old Ashley Qualls. She's a millionaire as well. Yeah, Cameron was telling us in the commercial break, now that he's 23, ooh, we all grown up. He takes five <laughs> months off a year just to travel. But we, the, everybody out there wants to know, especially the parents, how can our <laughs> teens make a million dollars before their senior prom? You just got to put yourself out there. Is that what it's about? Well, in my book, You Call the Shots, that's yeah. exactly what I talk about. That's the first chapter. But in that chapter, I tell the Donald Trump story. Because I was eight years old. I put myself out there. But I didn't know any better. And I think that helped me be successful. Naivete helps. Naive help. The younger you do it, too, the cuter it is. <laughs> exactly. You know? I mean, so it works. I mean, it works. People are going to support you. They want to. Start small. Now, you're not talking about small, like, little child. You're talking about small. <laughs> exactly. Small goals. Exactly. I think one of the worst things you can do is take on a lot of debt. You know, let's look at Microsoft or Dell. They both started in sure. dorm rooms. I started in a bedroom. Well, how much was it, did it cost you to? Um, it cost me eight dollars. I, I actually, yeah, yeah and, and that's, that's the funny thing. I mean, it, it, it's, it's possible, you know, for anybody to do this. It's possible. I mean, you have to, if you have the passion, you just, you have to go for it. And I think that's, that's an important thing that Cameron and I were discussing earlier. And Cameron says in his book, you look close to home. You, you looked in your home. Literally in my home. Yeah. I mean, it's a home-based business. So, I mean, it just, I started it for fun and it, I was, I've been very blessed for mm -hmm. it to become such a... What exactly do you mean, Cameron? Well, look close to home for great ideas. What I mean is don't try and think so far outside of the box. <laughs> you know, for I started a company that uh, you could buy and sell gift cards on the Internet. That's because I had a lot of gift cards in my back pocket <laughs> that I couldn't get rid of. So I think do, with what, do what you know. And she knows MySpace and great designing idea. all the sure. web pages. That's what she did. Adapt or die. I think this is true for any business, whether you're a Fortune 500 or you're a small business. You have to continue to always change <laughs> to your customers and to everything else or your business will die. Now, you, you're into Donald Trump, but we all need mentors in life. If you can't meet somebody big and famous like that, what do you do? Well, I think one option is to read books. I read books on Bill Gates, Michael Dell, <laughs> Donald Trump, Richard Branson growing up. And they were like mentors to me, even though I didn't have a personal relationship. I read the Donald Trump book, too, when I was in college. Well, how much do you have? You okay. need to read my book. <laughs> read Cameron's book. Yeah. What's your biggest splurge? Biggest splurge, I bought a house at 19. Um, you know, I, I, had a, I bought a Mercedes when I was in high school, but I'm not really into flashy things. And that's something I'm proud of is that I'm really... I'm really humble. It's a dream, and isn't he? You don't Are have you guys Ferraris? Out there? No, no, no. I'm not into that. I would rather put my money away and you, save it and have it for anybody? later in life. Do you date anybody? Sometimes. <laughs> oh, but you're not married. No, totally. Okay. Yeah, I think that that's something that Cameron and I both share is that we don't spend, you know, too much money. And, and I mean, we bought a house. You know, we, we each bought our own houses. And I don't even have a, I don't even have a license. I don't drive, so I don't even have I mean, a you car. You could be driving a nice, you know, BMW. Right? Yeah. And that would be cool. But you know, I, I really, I put a lot more of my money back. You well, you could at least park it in the driveway. She has a right. driver. Impressive. <laughs> Thank she you both very much. She could have a driver. <laughs> you know who's here, guys.